flooding disasters are the costliest natural disaster in our country. Um, property values are rising. Uh, we have more encroachment on our floodplains. We have more development in our floodplains. Everybody lives in a flood zone. In Alabama, everybody lives in a flood zone, even if it's a zone X flood, flood zone. It is a flood zone. And ultimately, it affects your community. Um, uh, if we uh, didn't worry about floodplain mapping, we would have uh, public safety emergencies. Well, this is the Lower Tallapoosa Discovery Meeting. This is the uh, first meeting in our risk map process. Uh, it's really a fact-finding meeting as far as trying to assess whether or not we'll do a study for the area. Um, and, and this particular risk map meeting is all about communicating. And so we bring together all the different stakeholders for the watershed and uh, inform them of the flood mapping process and the products that they will be receiving. And then ultimately that comes down to using the products to help better your community. And that's what we're all about in the day. So after the discovery process, uh, we'll actually take all of the data that was mined and begin the actual study. Um, in the very early stages of this, we'll have a kickoff meeting, which will um, tell the, the stakeholders uh, what we determined during discovery, and then it will detail the remainder of the process. So after uh, kickoff, we begin the engineering portion. So there are hydrologic and then hydraulic studies. So all of that information goes and uh, actually forms the, the floodplain maps that you see. At that point, the maps become what we call preliminary. During that preliminary to effective stage, you can have what's called appeals period two. That's the community's chance right there to let us know if there are problems with the maps, if they see areas that you know may be underrepresented or overrepresented. Once the appeal period has taken place, we will go through what's called the letter of final determination. So essentially that says nothing else is gonna change at this point. Once we have the effective map and it's adopted by the community, it is the regulatory authority for your community. Meaning that if I have a development or if I need a new business, I want a new home, I need to go check this flood map designation to make sure. And so it can be anywhere from a three year to a five year process. Um, we get our stakeholders involved, we gather data, we do the work, and then we outreach to the community. That's essentially the whole process in a net sale. Your normal homeowner's insurance does not cover any flood damage. If you build or buy a home in a floodplain, you're going to be required, if you have a federally backed mortgage, you're going to be required to have flood insurance. It may not rise to a level of natural disaster decoration, but these are your items. These are your trinkets. These are your home. This is your pictures. These are your TVs, couches, walls that you have to have replaced. And so um, we, we tend to uh, not necessarily uh, underestimate, but undervalue the importance of floodplain mapping because when you map correctly, you don't hear anything. If I'm the mayor, if I'm the county commissioner, and we got that new drainage project that went in, 100-year storm comes up, and then nobody's calling me, uh, the drainage project did a job. So, you know, it's a big misconception from beginning to end that floodplain management doesn't work for everybody when it actually does, because that's less tax dollars that are actually coming out of coffers to help uh, alleviate a problem. For every dollar of mitigation that you spend, you save $6 in hazard recovery money. Like Wardell said, everybody lives in a floodplain. It's just how, how far into the floodplain you are and how you mitigate your risks. The Office of Water Resources has a relatively new tool. Uh, it's www.alabamaflood.com. It uh, operates very much like a Google map. You can actually type in your address. It'll drop a pin on your house and you can actually toggle between uh, like the, the base normal road map or the stat satellite image which will actually show the property. Um, and you, from that pin, you can determine whether you're in the floodplain or not. And if anybody ever has any questions, they're always welcome to call the Office of Water Resources and we will be more than happy to help them out.